So on the 4th of July, I busted my face. I fell in my room. Nothing more exciting than that. Apparently it happens a lot. People fall in their room and get injured. Well, I did, and I'm really grateful. All I did was really like bust my nose. A big old bandage and black eye. and But that's nothing. <laughs> my life did flash in front of my eyes. And a whole lot of what's important came to the surface. And things that I would and absolutely have released completely just went away. In that moment of my face hitting the wood in my head, <laughs> you know, just praying that I didn't just like literally kill myself, right? Lots of things fell to the wayside. And I came up with some rules for life that I'm gonna share with you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest that you do make rules for life and that you follow those rules and that every decision that you make throughout your day is how you hold to your own rules and what's important to you because that's how you stay strong and you grow versus letting life happen to you. So I've made some pretty major changes in my life and change can be very, very scary. The brain, your mind really wants to stay the same. So what I did was I developed these rules so that I can remind myself that I'm taking care of myself as I make these changes. And there are things that I will not do that I have done in the, the past that have really brought me more stress and strife in the pursuit of success than were worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you my rules. And it started, I said, as I enter this reality, what I commit to, so the first list is what you commit to. And number one is to health. And that is, actually encompasses the rest of these things. So to health, my health is a all around thing. To love, to laugh, to fun, to sleep, to best body nourishment, and to dance. Okay, so I commit to those things. I commit to those things that are self-care and self-love and make me happy, right? And what I reject as I move into this reality, as I go into new ventures, new things in my life, I reject completely and check myself throughout the day as I make decisions. I reject impatience, frustration, too many hours and unethical people see in the past I would work initially with enthusiasm and enthusiasm really means with God so with the all of the generation of spirit and excitement and in good expectations and optimism I would work with that energy and then at some point, I would get to a point where I was pushing past the power that was natural. And I would push past and I would work longer than I should. I would make decisions maybe to partner with people that weren't in my best interest. I would maybe choose sometimes to not be fully true to myself. And man, would I not eat? Yeah, that's kind of common. Would I not sleep? Uh-huh. Uh, would I not spend enough time dancing, loving, laughing, having fun with the people that I, to, that I choose to do this for? Yeah. And so then I would get to this point at the top of this curve, if you can imagine it. Here's enthusiasm. Here's pushing past the point of power. Here's the top of the curve where I'm like, I can't even handle anything. And, and I would have this crash and burn, the burnout hit, and I would come down, and unfortunately, I would go below productivity level. And I'd be down here where I was not making the income that my family needed. I would be in this like, no, no, you know, take me out of the game mode. And I wondered, which one am I? Am I the one that is over here 
with all power and boldness and bold as a lion and going for it and excited about helping other people and myself and the world and is this me? Am I, am I this one? Or am I the one who's crashed and burnt? And it was revealed that I am indeed this one. That actually, this whole, when I was coming down, we call this burnout, we call it uh, overwhelm, burnout, you're slowing down. You're, this was actually in place to keep me alive. Because if you work up here in the overstressed out zone, you burn out your adrenals, you burn out your relationships, you burn out. So this slow down mode was meant to keep me alive. But unfortunately, because when I got way back down here, when I wasn't in production, then I was drenched in guilt and shame and feeling like I wasn't, you know, doing what I was supposed to do. I wasn't really getting the rest that I needed. So as I move into this venture, this new venture, I'm reminding this beautiful brain of mine that I can stay in the enthusiasm zone, that I will not go to the point of overworking myself and ignoring the people that are most important to me or uh, my the food that I eat or all those things, right? Relationships. I will not ignore them for the sake of what, right? So that I won't be pulled down and out of production. I have the tools. I know what I need to do daily so that I can stay in the game. And so, did good come out of my bust in my face? I actually feel it did. All things work together for my good. And in this case, this good is extraordinary because what was revealed to me is that my self-saboteur was actually there all the time to help me, to help keep me safe, to help keep me healthy so that I could do more, be more, have more, serve more in this world. So I hope what I've just described to you serves you and it makes sense for you and you can somehow take it and have it bless your life. Remember, the list is, as I enter this reality, whatever your new territory is that you're going after, what do you commit to and what do you reject? Make sure that you stick with those rules because otherwise you'll be pulled out of the game and that doesn't serve anyone. I'm Melanie Militex. Go forward, get your dreams.